As a business owner, you're always on the lookout for any extra cash. Many entrepreneurs go for LLCs because they're flexible and have passed through taxation. But did you know there are lots of tax write offs available for LLCs too? Your LLC might qualify for deductions you didn't even know existed. Your final tax bill can only be determined by your tax professional. Remember, the more valid deductions you claim, the less tax you'll have to pay. We'll give you a quick guide to business tax deductions and LLC write offs, so you will have a good idea when you talk to your tax professional during tax season. An accountant or tax preparer can give you personalized tax advice and tell you which deductions are specific to your business. Meanwhile, you've got me, Bev. From Finance Homefront, and we're here to help you discover the top five tax deductions for your LLC so you can keep some money in your pocket to help your business grow. 5. Startup and Organizational Costs Startup costs cover things you need to begin or buy a business, like research, market surveys, advertising, employee training, equipment, supplies, professional fees, and rent with utilities. Organizational costs are for forming a corporation or partnership. These include legal and accounting fees, state registration fees, costs for initial meetings, fees for licenses and permits, and expenses for transferring assets to the new business. Understanding these deductible costs can really help your business financially. Before we dive deeper into our discussion, if you're finding value in these insights, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. And hit that notification bell. That way, you'll stay updated on all our latest tips and tricks. Now, let's get back to uncovering the essential details about tax deductions for LLC owners. 4. Cell phone and internet service. You can save on your phone bill by deducting a part of it based on how much you use your phone for work stuff. This includes making business calls or texts, answering client calls, and using data for work tasks or research. The exact amount you can deduct depends on the percentage of time your phone is used for business. So it's important to keep good records of your phone use to support your deductions. For example, if you're using your personal phone for business and it's like half the time for work stuff, then you can claim half of your phone bill as a business expense. So the more accurate you are about tracking your business phone use, the more you can deduct from your bill. If it's your office phone and internet, You can deduct the whole bill. In addition to that, if you buy new phones or things like modems that help with your business, those costs can be deducted too. So, as long as your phone and internet are helping you run your business, you can get a break on the bills. 3. Home office deduction. If you're working from home and wondering about tax benefits, claiming a home office deduction might cross your mind. But you might also be concerned about catching the eye of tax auditors. So, how can your business qualify for this deduction? In simple terms, to be eligible, you need to meet one of these conditions exclusive and regular use. Regularly use a part of your home for business, like a studio or a garage, but not areas exclusively for a hotel. Principal place of business Your home office must be where you mainly do business or meet clients. With exceptions for specific businesses. When it comes to home office deductions, you can calculate the percentage of your home used for business or use a simplified square footage method. The precise method involves measuring your office's square footage as a percentage of your whole home. For instance, if your office is 150 square feet and your house is 1,200 square feet, your business percentage is 12.5%. If you qualify for home office deductions due to a daycare exception, special rules apply. Your business use percentage adjusts because the space is available for personal use part of the time. To figure this out, compare your childcare business hours to the total hours in a year. 2. Auto deduction. When handling business vehicles, how and when you claim deductions significantly impact taxes. The IRS is strict on vehicle write offs, so keep a detailed log of business miles and expenses. Choosing standard mileage or actual costs is like a math game. If your vehicle is cost effective, the standard mileage rate, which is 67 cents per mile in 2024, gives a bigger deduction. For high operating costs, 
The actual cost method is better. Whether you're an employee or self-employed, the IRS allows a standard mileage rate. If you own the vehicle, start with this method in the first year for business use. Keep track of total and business miles easily by noting odometer readings. Deductible business mileage includes client visits, bank trips, and consultations. With the actual expenses method, deduct additional auto costs like gas, maintenance, insurance, and more. Even with the standard mileage rate, deduct interest, registration fees, and taxes related to your business. Understanding these deductions optimizes your vehicle expenses at tax time. 1. S-Corp's Election If you're thinking about how to structure your business, you might consider the combo of having an LLC and opting for S-Corporation tax treatment. When you form an LLC, you get to choose how it's taxed for federal income purposes. An LLC can be taxed like a sole proprietorship, a partnership, a C-corporation, or if it meets the criteria, an S-corporation. Opting for S-corporation tax treatment has an advantage related to employment taxes. If you're an owner working for a business taxed as a partnership, the IRS considers you as an owner, which means all your income is subject to certain taxes. On the flip side, if the business is taxed as an S-corporation, only the wages paid to owner employees are considered earned income, subject to FICA tax for Social Security and Medicare. Other earnings passing through to owners are seen as dividend income, not subject to certain taxes, provided the owner actively participates in the business. There's another potential advantage thanks to the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. This law gives a 20% deduction for qualified business income to pass through entities, which includes businesses taxed as S-corporations. So if you're considering this setup, you might find these features beneficial for your business. Concerned about unusual deductions? No worries. The IRS broadly allows deductions for ordinary and necessary expenses, even unconventional ones. Understand these rules so you can strategically apply deductions and save money each year. Just a reminder, this video is here to share information. But it's important to know that it's not meant to give you personalized legal or tax advice tailored to your specific situation. Always consult with a professional for advice that fits your individual needs. Thanks for tuning into our video on the top 5 tax deductions for LLC owners. We hope you found these tips valuable for maximizing your savings. Which of these deductions surprised you the most? Or do you have any additional tips to share? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want more helpful content, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell. Your support means a lot. And we look forward to bringing you more informative videos.